Alright, so part three of Kirby Nightmare in Dreamland, we are tackling level five and six. Right now we are in Yogurt Yard, and poor Kirby, he just wanted his maximum tomato. I was flying backwards there for a second. Anyway, the start of another session, which means I might have to refamiliarize myself with Kirby again. Because I did take a longer than normal break between uh, session 2 and 3. I remember that much. Also, I don't like those whatever they are. They disappear and reappear, and sometimes they just reappear on top of your head. Even when you're flying. I'm about to die. How long until it actually happens? Looks pretty soon. Oh, this part, yeah. So, uh... Yeah, down there was the secret. I missed it. Oh, well. That's what editing's for. Also, you have a bunch of free, uh, ice enemies here. Uh, trying to attack a freeze Kirby. Hmm. The bow. You would think, like... If you were Fire Kirby or Burning Kirby, you'd have, like, maybe an immunity to fire? I don't know. I guess it's still Kirby no matter what. Door's still red. Down we go. For some reason, there are Light Kirby here. Light Kirby. Light enemies here. Yes, the health is more important than the button. Oh, good. Bomb rally. I like that. No one can hurt me now. Look out below. Oh, uh, this song. Every time I hear this song, I can only hear the, um... The cannon about to start once you like the fuse. Come on, swim, Kirby. Yeah, so there are only two power-ups you can use underwater. I think it's sword and hammer. Oh, and UFO, but then again, <laughs> that's cheating with UFO. But yeah, while underwater, you have kind of a, a kind of just spit at enemies. You shoot water from your mouth. Yeah. Hmm, there are two doors there. I wonder why. They do go a little crazy with the the secrets soon enough. Anyway, this is just me checking. It's like, okay, just making sure this isn't one of those. Oh, that was the right way. Because for some reason, they keep the doors, even though this isn't where the secret would be. Like, you can travel back pretty far, even though you don't need to. Oh, wait, is there not a secret on this stage? Well, there's a one-up, so... <clears throat> it's that, at least. Anyway, another monkey with a hammer. At least I th I've always just thought he was a monkey. Anyway, they give you a hammer, and... I don't know, I always feel like whenever they give you a hammer, there's a good indication that you're gonna need it soon. But I don't think that's the case here. Yeah, because I think the end of the stage is just ahead. Yeah, there's the end of the stage. But I gotta get that one up, man. Because I'm... I'm running out of lives, alright? Two thousand points. Sad, Kirby. Man, I out of all the Kirby games, I think the one I want to play the most is Forgotten Realm. Cause that looks fun. Cause it's Kirby's first real 3D outing, which is cool. It's like took him until the Nintendo Switch from the Game Boy to make a proper 3D Kirby game. 
Oh yeah, slow fall. Yeah, you can't fall, uh, you can't go downward from this area. And this is just me making sure there's none, uh, to miss. But yeah, it's like, I know Kirby Air Ride had 3D sections, but it was more of a racing game. Well, it was a racing... Racing party game. Anyway, this is a good uh, little obstacle co oh, obstacle course in quotes. Good little course for wheel. So watch out for the for the um <clears throat> the spikes at the end. Pop your tires. Oh yeah, and uh, if a power up you lost falls in a spike, is I think it's destroyed immediately. Also, they gave me stone, but to get that one up is pretty perilous. I say as I get it really easily. Here we go. Full health and a one-up to boot. Oh yeah, you're invincible while you're stone, but you can't do anything while you're stone. Yeah, you can't just fall to the end. Game's like, nope. We have abilities we want you to use, and you will use them. So that makes me wonder, with Kirby and the Forgotten Realm, uh, will they continue uh, with the 3D Kirby formula, or will they go back to 2D after this? I imagine that they'll try another 3D game, because with... Um, I don't know, they've been doing 2D, you know, for years. Decades. So, I think... I think they'll probably do a, maybe another game or two. Oh, there's a 1-Up. And there's a Burning. Let's go get us a 1-Up. Did I get Spark? Yes. Didn't spend long making that decision. Oh, hey, Meta Knight. Hi. How you doing? I tried to get Spark. Try to do it so I was like, I eat a couple enemies, get Spark back. Eat a, uh, drop it, eat a couple enemies, get Spark back. That kind of thing. But I couldn't do it. Try to be the surprise one, but I was a little too quick for you. Oh, hey, ball. How you doing? I don't know why I bother. Ball's not that good. How long until I realize this? Probably until I see another power-up. Or until I get hit. That works, too. in the wall. Oh, also, this is a weird, like, I don't think they do this much, but you can suck up stuff through walls, which is odd. And this is me desperately trying to get a spark. It's like, yes, I want it. Making sure there's none else. And for some reason, you can pass through some uh, floors, but not others. And now we've unlocked the Colosseum for this area. So back to... Back to our regularly scheduled slaughter. Free fallen! <laughs> and there we go. That was easy. five unlocked, but we also have a Coliseum, so why don't we see who it is? Oh, it's Bonkers. I think that's this enemy's name. I 
I was going to destroy him, but I was like, eh. He's all the way over there. <laughs> wow, got C past me. Jumped through while he was still shooting at you. Oh, I think this level has a, uh, a secret button. And uh, me flying all over the place is trying to find it. I do enjoy a lot of Kirby music. Um, I think I think it's Gourmet Races, probably my favorite. Also, this is uh, another little puzzle room. Thankfully, the enemies uh, respawn. So what you want to do is you want to break those blocks up there, and then get your fire ability. Well, I mean, I guess you could get fire, start the fuse, and then grab high jump and jump through, but if you don't want to, you know, race the clock. Because I think everything resets if you leave and come back in the room. Also, the buttons heal you, which I kind of forgot about. How nice of them. So yeah, I have 100% of this game in the past, though that was on an emulator back when I didn't have a Wii U and wanted to play this game but didn't have a GBA copy. So I had safe states to make sure I could get through extra mode and meta nightmare mode. Because, uh, yeah, only three hit points. Alright, so who are we finding today? Oh, it took you long enough to show up. I don't know why, whenever I think Kirby and like the burning ability, I always think of this guy, the fiery lion. Also, if you don't feel like flying, you could just scale walls with burning. It's kind of fun. Now it's just a rush to the end. And now I've lost Burning. Oh, laser. Hey, there's Burning right there. <laughs> a little rude there, don't you think? Just eat laser just so you could spit them out. Sorry about that. Have to adjust every now and then, because, you know. The way I sit in my chairs is uh, not the most comfortable for long periods of time. Anyway, uh, I don't think I did that well. I don't remember how many lives I went in there with, but... Oh, this stage. This stage is annoying. Mainly because uh, this how you get the secret in this one. The secret is not that secret, but it's just the means of getting to the button is annoying. Basically, you want to come in this stage with hammer. And if you think stone might work, I no. And no, sword ain't no hammer. Because we're about to approach a room after we get bombarded with waddle -dees. And here's me about to die. And <laughs> here I'm, I'm not dashing because I don't want to die. Oh no, wait, first we have to... Oh no, 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 okay. So yeah, this is why we need hammer. You can just, I believe you can destroy these blocks with burning, but because you're underwater, you need hammer to, in order to break them. Stone, I think, also can break them, but you can't use stone underwater. The only, the only thing you can use for this is hammer, which is probably why the arena match is with uh, a hammer enemy.
Anyway, now we've unlocked the boss, but we don't have uh, the secret. So I went... It took several attempts to get this one. At this point, you can get rid of Hammer. There you go. Button pressed. And on what I've gotten. Yeah, for some reason, for some of these stages, I keep going with the stage instead of just exiting. Okay, so, uh... Now I'm trying to figure out what to do about the boss. It's like, oh, uh, what do I want for this boss? Honestly, I should have kept Hammer, because this is a terrible boss for Spark. Because you, he's constantly moving, and Spark can't constantly move. This enemy, I remember giving me the most trouble. <clears throat> oh, and also those missiles. I believe if you eat them, it's sleep. So yeah, I sure picked a really good power-up for this one, huh? And one more hit you do. There we go. Oh yeah, one of the bosses where they teleport you to the the dance area. Now we have Orange Ocean. I think it's also one of my favorite backgrounds. Because I really like the, the sunset look to it. Anyway, so, uh, Orange Ocean, I believe, has a lot of water. So a lot of chances to permanently lose uh, your power-ups. Because you can't inhale underwater. Though, let's be honest, with Kirby's uh, bombless uh, stomach, he could probably just, you know, drink the whole ocean away. Oh yeah, there was a... Why did I ignore the door? Like, there's an elephant in here, but... You know. I, for some reason, I want to say this thing's name is Ellie, but I think I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure I'm wrong. All this for that extra life. Because I don't think this is part of a puzzle or anything. Go, got throw, and now I just have to make it through the enemies without losing my power up. Oh yeah, while you're uh, shooting out water, you can only aim in four directions, but you can change directions uh, pretty much split second. All right, Gordo, get out of my way. I have treasure to get, and one up attained. Ah, going with Burning Kirby. Given the option for... Sp given multiple options for Spark. And not going with them. Now I am. But only after I get hit. Uh, this one. I think you need Hammer or Stone for this. But you can at least get a, a 1-up in uh, Maximum Tomato. So, there is that. Just have fun trying to get out of there. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to come back to this one. And I just abandoned my power up. Also, is it just me or does, do those fish have goggles on? That's what I've always looked like to me. Design in Kirby is strange. Alright, and now I gotta go grab a proper power-up. <laughs> As I, I'm bringing sword with me. Here we go. And button. And now just to uh, leave through the door. So what's in the museum today? Ah, it's a wheel. 
and there's me like, not worth it. Oh, there goes Hammer. Oh, this stage, I remember this. Yeah, you go in here, big mistake. You want stone. I think you actually want stone rather than hammer this time, or maybe you can get away with hammer. Either which way, you didn't want to just kill him. But here I am, hanging tough with sword. Yeah, it's at this point that uh, getting the secret is starting to get a little aggravating. Not gonna lie. Oh yeah, stone or hammer here. Pound in the pegs. Give me a spark. And just electrocute anything that comes near me. Oh yeah, and those things explode for some reason. I don't know why I thought I was at the bottom of the screen and just fell to my death. I was like, uh, what? Man, I forgot a lot. Oh, and there's UFO, which I don't need. Also, I think if you kill the little, uh, the little clown guy, uh, without destroying what he's riding on, I think that is a maximum tomato. That's mean, putting the, like, pointless, almost, putting the end door behind a destructible wall. Anyway, still red, gotta go back. Now we have stone, we can break through, and inside is, well, a button. Now I'm like, well, I am now in a pickle. Kinda had to take the damage. This button better be worth it. Also, I don't know what, uh, I don't know if the second door just leads to the same place or what. But that's 100% done, so... Who cares? And I got my spark. And then I immediately lose it. Oh, the pirate ship. Oh yes, that's right. This stage. This one has a kind of an annoying secret. Here we go, yep. He's all coming back to me now. Okay, so you're gonna beat Bonkers here, but you wanna not kill him. You wanna take his power. Because you gotta go through that uh, iron block. And again, you need either stone, uh, hammer, or burning to break them, but uh, only hammer or burning will get you through. I also almost just leave without checking. It's like, oh yeah, because I remember there being something to do with that hole there. Uh, but it took me a minute before I'm just like, oh yeah, I gotta go check. Here I go. Yeah, I almost left that secret and almost had to do an edit. I had to do an edit anyway, because this took forever for me to figure out. So that hole there leads back to where you were. This right door leads you to a laser with a maximum tomato room. You want that laser. So you'll take laser, you'll go into this room, and you need them. So I've edited out maybe 10, like 10 minutes of me trying to figure out how to get to that how to get that cannon to work. Yeah, you need laser to ricochet a shot. Yeah, just land on the enemy. Oh yeah, 
There's the room from up above to kind of tell you, hey, there's something here. I don't know how to get that, uh, that one up. I don't suppose those windows are doors, are they? Because sometimes they just kind of throw that at you without telling you. It's like, hey, it's like, this is also a door, but you didn't tell me. I know. Off we go into the sunset. I like to think that we're just traveling to different islands. Oh yeah, and the coconuts explode. Don't know why. Also, I don't know why I just <laughs> let that enemy hit me, but whatever. I assume it's part of Past Me's master plan. Oh boy, another bomb rally. Oh, I'm going into the arena to to get me a uh, well power up. But originally it was for a maximum tomato, but as you can see, I uh, I died. <clears throat> yeah, so thankfully these bosses have multiple ways of defeating them. You know, you can use your power up that you bring in, or if you don't have one, game isn't just you know unbeatable. They do drop stars when they do certain attacks. I got me a fried tomato. Now I gotta go play Bomb Rally. Oh, I actually gained a 1-up from it. Look at that. Okay, what's the deal with this stage? I don't remember anything about it, so I'm gonna assume it's none special. Still nothing. Well, I need some kind of ability to get that. As I'm having trouble getting out of these uh, very narrow holes. That. Thankfully, I don't have to. I don't have to go all the way over there. I can just, you know, open it from the side. Got three one ups. And now I have sword. Uh, I'm still not remembering anything about this level. Is it just kind of an unremarkable? Oh, yeah, I saw that. I was like, yeah, that wasn't very subtle. Button. <clears throat> no puzzle to it, just, hey, did you spot the hole in the wall? There you go. And I think that's all this level has to offer, because I think the rest of it is just kind of a nothing level. Ow. I was like, may as well. Oh, is this another Meta Knight, uh, Moot Crush? Nope. Oh, I remember the, the... Having to go up and dodge all the coconuts. I just say, like... I just say forget the power-up at this point. So many coconuts! There we go. Yeah, pretty unremarkable level. Except the hole in the wall. Like, that's kind of the only identifiable thing about that whole level. Uh, we're getting to the end of this part, though. Oh, air ride. Air grind time. I think I did well enough in that one. I can't remember. I think I only got a one up from that, though. If I remember my playthrough right. Oh yeah, this area. I remember. So, long time ago, I attempted to do a Let's Play of this. Uh, and I remember this stage in particular, either this or a later one, that had a similar thing like this, where there is just kind of bottom area that you could explore but led to nothing. 
I just remember spending the longest time there. <clears throat> and there was nothing there. I like to think I've improved on my Alpine abilities since those days. Oh, uh, you think? Oh, okay, you can go back. Oh, I got crashed. Alright, time to show off its one purpose. Screen nuke. There you go. All the enemies dead, and these enemies stand no chance. They drown. Now I decide, oh hey, maybe I need a weapon. Or I don't. Okay. Oh, this is another cannon stage. I think if I remember the original Kirby's Dreamland right from what I've seen of it. Uh, this area was really annoying because the enemies spawn uh, right on top of you when you were uh, lighting the fuse. If I remember right. Ow. I want my fire. These Waddle Doos are really fast, Waddle Doos being the, the beam ability enemies. Oh, look at that, I got a 1-up. Nice. Alright, level 6, just one more. A boss, this part's done. So, originally, while editing this, I was thinking, it's like, maybe I could do one video per world. And then it's like, no way, world one is only seven minutes long. I was like, I'm not having that. Yeah, this is the level I remember. Oh, okay. Alright, so I'm thinking of the, the first one with the water. This one actually has something. So I have to come back to this one, unfortunately. Or do I? You see... UFO can... Give me what I need. And there's the demonic nature of those things. So, try not to eat them. Yeah, the charged up laser will break through those walls. Booyah. Boop. There we go. Got our warp star. And got fully healed. 40 lives, jeez. Thank you, Restore Points. Don't attack me, I'm one of you. The only thing I remember about UFO that's uh, really cool is in Amazing Mirror. Uh, they have a cell phone feature where you can either call to have someone join you or you can uh, just call a warp star back to the, the begin uh, back to the main world. Uh, and with UFO, when you use the cell phone feature, it's a, it's a antenna, like a little radar dish. And I was just like, oh, that's cute. You are mine, sword. Stay away, fish. Oh yeah, because this stage has multiple ways to go. Like, there is that top path. I think it's also a boss, like a boss rush of sorts. So you, you get to pick your choice of boss rushes. Anyway, uh, food. I wonder how that, um, that Super Mario World theme park is, uh, doing. If it's even open right now. Because I, I remember the news about it. I don't remember if they've opened yet. Here we go. King DDD, but first, well, not King DDD, but a boss. Actually, I think this is, uh, yep, Meta Knight. 
So, fun fact. In this, in some of the games, he won't fight you unless you pick up the sword. Like, he'll just sit there and wait. But there are some games where he's just like, Okay, uh, I'm done wasting time. We're gonna fight uh, regardless of what power you have. And also, this is the only instance where you can't lose your power up. Because Meta Knight wants to have an honorable duel. Also, he can deflect your hits. And done. Oh, but it's revealed. He is also a Kirby. Well, I'll see you guys next time for World 7 in the finale. Bye.